beginning in 2015, the U.S. Air Force planned to retire all of its A-10 attack aircraft, but the plan was opposed by Congress. So far, the A-10 is safe even as the Air Force is planning to phase out more modern aircraft. According to Defense News, Acting Air Force Secretary Matt Donovan stoked speculation that the service will retire the A-10 after announcing that its fiscal year 2021 budget request will include controversial changes, such as the divestment of legacy aircraft. But according to Lieutenant General Timothy Fay, Deputy Chief of Staff for Strategy, Inauguration and Requirements confirm that the A-10 is not one of the aircraft under consideration for divestment and won't stay in service until the 2030s. The history of development of the A-10 Warthog dates back to the early 1970s, when the Soviet Union and its allies possessed an overwhelming number of main battle tanks compared to the US and NATO. The US Air Force requested the development of a close-in subsonic ground support attack aircraft with a longer flight time. The A-10 Warthog with its twin engine, subsonic speed, the main armament being a 30mm cannon and missiles and precision guided bombs, proved to be a reliable and effective close-in ground support aircraft in the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the U.S. Army suddenly lost a great opponent. Although low-intensity wars involving U.S. military intervention still tend to increase, the U.S. Air Force still wants to retire the A-10 early, saving about $5 billion for another investment. But with the U.S. Congress objection, the Air Force's intention to remove the A-10 attack plane had to be stopped. Not only that, the A-10 continues to be upgraded, extending its service life until 2030. Defense News reported, A-10 upgrade options were completed by the end of July 2019. The focus of the upgrade is the replacement of new wings for 173 A-10s by Boeing, including one that crashed, and its latest contract could be worth as much as $999 million if the Air Force decides to re-wing the rest of the 109 A-10s that need replacements. The A-10s are also equipped with new weapons, avionics, and sensors. The A-10s have recently begun to be fitted with a new improved version of the Thales Visionix helmet-mounted display system. These systems have been tested by A-10 pilots since 2012. With the helmet-mounted aiming system, Pilots can aim directly at the target. The next major upgrade will be the integration of the GBU-39 small diameter bomb into the A-10's arsenal. So far, the A-10 has been limited to carrying a single weapon per mount. With the RBU-61A carriage system, the A-10 will be able to carry four bombs per hardpoint, making it a true bomber that can neutralize threats from long range before starting to provide fire support with cannons and missiles to ground forces.
the A10 will also be upgraded with a Link 16 data link, allowing it to communicate and exchange data with all combat aircraft, as well as ground and air reconnaissance vehicles in the real time, helping to further improve combat effectiveness. The last major upgrade of the A10 is the inclusion of a new radar. This is a synthetic aperture radar to improve aiming capabilities. Although not officially confirmed, the radar is likely to be the active electronically scanned array radar ANASQ-236 Dragon's Eye, which has been fitted on the F-15E Tri-Eagle. My video about the A10 Warthog Answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.